Hey guys, I am here to make a guide. Uh, mostly trying to make my um, Falcon like training guide that I promised. But I think for now I'll do my piece by piece. This one's gonna be on uh, how to improve like the the pathway of how one should improve on like uh, aerial and doing better aerials as Falcon. And first, I'll talk about like what's the best way to practice like a. Uh, short hop, fast fall, I'll cancel with the shuffling. And um, conveniently Uncle Punch has a uh, event matches where you can do that. No problem. I'll cancel training is like a good uh, starting point. Yeah, this goes can't do 100% on this. And mix of timings, you know, fastball, every aerial. Work on my pivots, pivot aerials too. So yeah, this is a pretty good starting point. After this, I like to go to um, attack on shield. As uh, not only is it like a, a different timing when you hit people. As opposed to whiffing, you gotta be good at both. Like, you whiff, um. You gotta be good at nailing that. If you hit him, the timing is a little different when you hit them on shield. So. Or you hit them in general, too. So, it's good to. Get the muscle memory down to be ready for both situations, as, um, you know, every time you hit him, it's not always gonna connect. Say they're dashing away, they roll, spot dodge, whatever. So. Recommended heavily for um, people starting out and also probably intermediate people too to work on this. If you miss L cancels like uh, more than once a match, then you should probably find it out. And it's good to also eventually have the CPU to options. That way, you know you're like spaced well. Or you, want, you can do like some trickier stuff like uh, hit them close but dash away. And that comes later on as you get better at the game. And uh, tying back into just having better aerials, let's talk about being able to adjust timing so you can hit them after track chases. So, I see a lot of mid-level peer. <clears throat> sorry, mid-level people. Um, they got they got like the the fast aerials down. They can knee quickly, stomp quickly. Let's say they're like a um, tech chasing. They will still like a uh, attack too quick. And you got to make a judgment call based on how much time you have and when you're gonna land, recovering like a uh, tech in place. You gotta wait a bit. Instead of just letting it rip. A lot of people I still see like uh They just go too quick. Stomp has like the, the lasting hitbox. So you'd be surprised like how if you like nail like the actual tech going for how consistent it is at hitting, as opposed to like a quick knee. Like a stomp. You can adjust timing to a stomp by like not fast falling. Gives you a little more, uh, more of a wait before the boss comes out and, and stays there. And another important factor is on platforms too. Like how much time do you have after uh, a fox goes on the plat or anyone goes on the platform? It's important to know, like, uh, realize, like, how much time do I have? Do I have time to go for, like, a big hit, like a stomp or a knee? Or can I only do, like, an up there? And a lot of people will, like, snap up there, no matter what. But if you got a lot of time, you should, you might as well near a stomp.
Like you're you're actually doing a huge mistake sometimes by not like uh, going for the big hit. So, another way to improve the aerialing, being able to, to time for like the invincibility or um, being able to have a better judgment call as people land and um, you're either going to attack in place or attack whatever direction. It doesn't really matter. The point is you got to be able to time it correctly and not just like, a, oh he's above me or he's going to land on a platform. I'm just like, I'm just going to up air with bad timing. You know, bad timing. So I whiff, or uh, I only get like an upper off when um, if I had plenty of time, I could have um, done a bit juicier hit. So yeah, some some top top falcons still don't quite uh, go for the meaty, the juicy hit, the juicer when uh, you know they got plenty of time. So that's something to be cognizant of as you play in practice. And what's last on my? Uh, my flowchart of improvements. So we first we talked about shuffling, being able to time for like tech chases. Lastly, I want to talk about aerial drifts. I already have a video on this that covers it with more in-depth detail, but I still want to um, talk about it here. Why is why is uh, aerial drifting important? Because it improves your mix-up game. If you if you want to play an aerial heavy falcon, you got to be really good at mixing. Aerial drifts, they tend to be um, no fast holder. And, um, you know, Falcon's Nair is a pretty good zoning tool mid range. If they're coming at you like a follow up approach, you can like drift back. The close range you're blocking them. Say you started really close to them, you can drift back. So, like, if they try to like punch you out of shield, they're gonna whiff. Sometimes you can go past them too if they got really bad uh, out of shield behind them. Always want to be tricky. Um, knee, you can also do a knee too. Start really close. Strong hit on shield, but you're pulling back. Or they're doing going for some super yellow approach. To pull back could be a, a good strong hit. Stomp is. Also important because, um, you know, people are used to getting knee on shield, so they're, they're not as likely to fall for the bait against when you're fighting good people. But Stomp, you can pull back slightly and, um, you know, dodge it. Like a potential shine out of shield or a grab, whatever. Up air, not something I use personally a lot, but it can be good. Good defensive option. Good option in general against tall, tall characters. Falcon Dittos. Um, Sheik March when they're not dashing. Say like a Sheik's forward tilt and you can like block in an up air. And you can drift back. You know, pretty pretty solid uh, defensive choice if Foxes like to uh, fall the approach. So the drift is essential for uh, Increasing your mix-up game. And I see stick all my aerials. Obviously you can't do it in there. But it's really important. After that you can like start throwing tomahawks. And start doing like a better grounding game too. Like uh... Yeah I see a lot of falcons... They don't want to just like grab people like... They down throw a million times. Which is fine. So if you want to play this way you gotta go all out there like learning mix-ups. Be having like good timing. Never fucking up your inputs, like missing an ult cancel. So just wanted to point that out. I felt this was a good uh, or decent guidelines to improving. So you know, beginners should work on the L canceling consistency, and then once you got the speed down, that's when you want to be able to like uh, time better to cover like uh, not need too early, too late. You got to dodge invincibility frames. For platforms, you gotta like have a good judgment call to uh, go for a quick up air, or if you have time, you can stop near them. 
And again here you can um the aerial drifts. Aerial drifting. That's why you need to uh in 2021 to make the style work against good players. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.